The three sides of a right triangle are 5x, 4x plus 5, and 8x minus 3. What is the integer value of the longest side? Now, before we tackle this problem, for those of you who might be new with the Pythagorean theorem, let's talk about the basics. And before we begin that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click on that notification bell. So the Pythagorean theorem helps us to see the relationship of the three sides of a right triangle. Let's call this A, B, and C. So A represents the length of this side of the triangle. B represents the length of the vertical side of the triangle. And C represents the length of the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. It's across the right angle, which is represented by this box. That's a 90 degree angle. Now here's the formula that will help you to calculate the missing side of a right triangle. It's a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So let's work on an example problem. Let's say that the hypotenuse is x and the legs of the triangle are 5 and 12. What is the value of x? Well, we can see that a is equal to 5, b is equal to 12, and c is equal to x. So what we have here is 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to x squared. At this point, we need to do the math. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. 12 squared, that's 12 times 12, which is 144. If we add 144 and 25, it's going to give us 169. Our next step is to take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 169 is 13. Now, what's plus or minus 13, but when dealing with the length of a side, we're going to use a positive value. We're not going to use a negative value to represent the length of something. So we're going to go with positive 13, and that is the answer. That's how long the hypotenuse, the longest side of the triangle is. Now let's try a harder example. So we're going to have another right triangle. And let's say that the hypotenuse is 10 units long. One of the legs is 5, and you want to find the missed side length. What is the value of x in this example? Feel free to pause the video and try this problem. In this problem, we can see that a is equal to x. So let's replace a squared with x squared. b is the other leg, so that's going to be equal to 5. So instead of b squared, we have 5 squared. Now across the 90 degree angle, that is the hypotenuse. So c is equal to 10. Now, all we need to do is calculate the value of x. 5 squared is 25, and 10 squared, or 10 times 10, that's 100. Now, we need to isolate x squared, so we're going to sub excuse me, we're going to subtract both sides by 25. So 100 minus 25, that's 75. Now, to get x, we need to take the square root of both sides. What is the square root of 75? Because 75 is not a perfect square. In this case, what you want to do is break up 75 into 25 times 3, because 25 times 3 is 75. The square root of 25 is 5. And this is the length of the missing side. It's 5 times the square root of 3. And as a decimal, that is approximately 8.66. So that's how you can calculate the missing side of a triangle. So now let's move on to the problem that was presented at the beginning of this video. Let's read the problem. The three sides of a right triangle are 5x, 4x plus 5, and 8x minus 3. What is the integer value of the longest side? So let's begin with a picture. So in the thumbnail of this video, 
the two legs of the right triangle were 5x and 4x plus 5. The hypotenuse is 8x minus 3. With this information, what is the integer value of the longest side? The longest side is going to be the hypotenuse. So let's call the first leg A, the second one B. It really doesn't matter which one is A and which one is B. What matters is which one is C. C is going to be the hypotenuse, the longest side. So C is 8x minus 3. Our goal is to find the integer value of the longest side, which is C. So C is what we are looking for in this problem. So let's start with the Pythagorean theorem formula. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. A is 5x. B is 4x plus 5. And C is 8x minus 3. 5x squared. 5x times 5x is going to be 25x squared. Now, for 4x plus 5 squared, we're squaring a binomial. So we need to FOIL the expression. This is going to be 4x plus 5 times itself. Now, the same is true for 8x minus 3 squared. We need to FOIL this expression as well. So I'm running out of space. Let me get rid of this. So keep in mind, C is what we're looking for, which is 8x minus 3. So what we have here is 25x squared. And then we're going to multiply 4x times 4x. So that's going to be 16x squared. And then 4x times 5, which is 20x. And then 5 times 4x, that's also 20x. And then finally, 5 times 5 is 25. Now, 8x times 8x, that's going to be 64x squared. And then 8x times negative 3, that's negative 24x. Negative 3 times negative 8x, same thing, negative 24x. And then finally, negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. Now, let's combine like terms. So here on the left side, 25 and 16 added will give us 41. These two terms are similar, so that's going to be plus... 40x and then plus 25 that's equal to 64x squared and we can combine those two negative 48x plus 9. Now I'm going to take everything from the left side and move it to the right side. To do that I'm going to subtract both sides by 41x squared and then subtract both sides by 40x and also by 25. So this is going to be 0. 64 minus 41 is 23. Negative 48 minus 40 is negative 88. 9 minus 25, that's going to be negative 16. So this is what we now have. Now, how can we solve this quadratic equation. This is going to be difficult to factor. So the best thing to do might be to use the quadratic formula. And here it is. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. In this example, a is 23, b is negative 88, c is negative 16. So this is going to be negative times negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared negative 88 squared minus 4 times a which is 23 times c which is negative 16 divided by 2a or 2 times 23. So this is going to give us positive 88. Negative 88 squared that's going to be positive 7,744. Negative 4 times 23 times negative 16. That's going to be positive 1472.
and 2 times 23 is 46. Now 7744 plus 1472, that's 9216. And the square root of 9216 is 96. So we're going to get two answers here. The first one's going to be 88 plus, let me write this down, 88 plus 96 divided by 46. 88 plus 96 is 184. 184 divided by 46, that's 4. Now for the other one, it's going to be 88 minus 96 divided by 46. So we have negative 8 over 46, which, which reduces to negative 4 over 23. Now, if x is a negative number, that means 5x is a negative result. So we don't want a negative side. So we're going to stick with this value. x is equal to 4. Now let's go back to our triangle. So one side was 5x. If x is 4, then 5x is going to be 5 times 4, which will give us 20. The other one is 4x plus 5. So that's going to be 4 times 4 plus 5. So 16 plus 5 is 21. Now for the last side, that's the hypotenuse, it's 8x minus 3. So it's going to be 8 times 4 minus 3. That's 32 minus 3, which is 29. So we have the 20, 21, 29 right triangle. So this is the answer, the integer value of the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, 29. And so that's it for this video. Hopefully it gave you a, a decent introduction into the Pythagorean theorem and how you can use it to solve the missing side of a triangle, or to find the missing length, the missing side length of a right triangle. Thanks for watching.